Once upon a time, there was a father who had three sons. His fortune was only the house he lived in. After he died, each of his children needed a house. But he loved his three children equally and did not want to favor any one of them, so he was very confused and did not know how to decide. He did not want to sell the house to divide the money equally among his three children, because the house was left by his grandparents. Thinking for a while, he suddenly came up with an idea and told his children, You should go far away to make a living. Each of you learn a profession. When you return, the best child will inherit the house. The children are all happy like that. The eldest son wanted to become a horseshoer, the second wanted to become a barber, and the third wanted to become a fencing instructor. They made an appointment to return home and then set off together. Successfully achieving fame, all three found good teachers to teach them the craft. The horseshoe maker was appointed to specialize in shoeing the king and number 39, S horses. He thought, now my talent is less than anyone else and number 39, S, I will get the house. The barber also specialized in cutting hair for court officials, so he thought the house was his. Even though the fencer was stabbed and slashed, he still gritted his teeth and endured it without showing any signs of discouragement, because he always told himself, if I am timid, that house will never belong to me. Then the appointed day came, all three returned and sat around their father. They don and number 39, T know when there will be a good opportunity to show off their talent. They sat together and judged. While they were sitting, a rabbit came running from the field. The barber said, Wow, it came at just the right time. He took a broom, soap and foam. When the rabbit ran past, he wiped the soap brush across the rabbit and number 39's nose and shaved the entire beard in one stroke without the rabbit getting scratched or hurt. The father said, I am very satisfied. If the other children are not as talented, then the house is yours. Not long after, someone driving a horse-drawn carriage passed by. Look at me showing my talent, my father. The horseshoer said and jumped after the cart, removed the four iron nails from the horse and number 39's heels and nailed four new ones while the horse was running. The father said, You are truly a man, you are no less than your brother, now I don and number 39. T know which one to give the house to. At that time, the third son said to his father, Father, please let me show my talent once. It started to rain, he pulled out his sword, spinning it around his index finger. The sword rotated above its head so fast that no raindrop could flow past it. It rained harder and harder, then the rain poured down, he pushed the sword faster and faster, the sword spun so fast that his body didn't and hash 39. T get wet at all. The father was very surprised when he saw this, he said, you are truly the most talented person. The house is yours. The two older brothers were very pleased with their father and number 39's praise and decision. But the three brothers loved each other, so they lived together in the house they inherited from their parents. Although each person has a different job, they are skillful and good at their job, so they live a very prosperous life. All three brothers lived in harmony until their hair turned gray and their teeth grew long. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.